in this tutorial I'll show you how to make a falling object interact with its environment. First, what we need is, let's get two planes out. And, just for the heck of it, a platonic. Take both planes and change them, make them a little larger. Um, make them 600, both of them. Okay. Uh, move that out of the way. And take one plane. Rotate it kind of like that. And move it up some. Take the other plane. And... Rotate it in the opposite direction And then move it down Have to play around with this a little bit Move it down so that The tips are close to each other If you move that up a bit Okay Now take that object and put it kind of close to the edge in between them. But make sure it's above the first one here. Now select all of them oops, and either press C for <coughs> making them editable, editable or go under functions and you'll see it right there. Then right click, dynamics tag, and rigid body dynamic. Now for both of the planes, you can select both of them at the same time, it doesn't matter. Change the mass to zero. Uh, we don't want the planes to fall, we'll just have the this object falling onto them. And the collision to full. You can play around with the elastic stuff here. I don't think it really matters that much. For platonic, we can change the mass to say 2 and the collision to full. I th think you don't have to change anything with this. I don't think it matters. Once you've done that, go up to dynamics and choose both a solver object and then gravity. Once you have both, drag both planes and the platonic and gravity into the solver object. Now I found out to change gravity to say maybe 5. Actual earth gravity is about 9.81 um, meters per second squared. And I think that should be it. You can press play and you'll see the platonic object fall onto them. If you want it to last for a long amount of time, highlight this 90F, F means frames, and change it to say 300. And drag this, and we can drag it out to see all the frames. You can then kind of zoom out to see a little more, and you'll see the object fall to a certain spot. You can continue this by making more of these. Say, and copy paste. Place another one down here. Just remember to put it in the solver object. You need the solver object for any dynamic stuff to work. Play it again. And there you have it. That's the dynamic um, tutorial. Thanks.